Hello, welcome to 30 Days of Mania, um, where we're talking about all the WrestleManias. We just watched the end of WrestleMania 2. And, uh, we didn't watch the whole thing. No. We just watched the end. Yeah, well, I said that in the first video. We're not watching yeah, but, it all yeah. the way through, but um, we're just watching the notable matches. So for this one, we watched two of the three main events, because WrestleMania 2 was a bit of an experiment. They wanted to go bigger and better. So they had an, an hour or so in New York, an hour or so in Chicago and then an hour or so in uh, Los Angeles. So the main event for New York was Mr. T versus Roddy Piper in a boxing match. So we watched that. Uh, before we get to that though, we did watch the opening again. We're gonna try and watch all the, the opening uh, introductions. Uh, very 80s, the logo went really 3D. It was kind of like the early days of experimenting with the 3D effects. It was kind of cool and funny. I'm sure uh, it was very impressive. At yeah, the at the time they are probably like, oh my God, this is awesome. Uh, but it was, you know, by today's standards, quite archaic. Um, I don't know if that's the right word, but anyway, I'm going to keep on going. Uh, the opening uh, performance was by Ray Charles singing America the Beautiful. So they changed it from the first WrestleMania, and they use that throughout now. They always sing America the Beautiful. Your thoughts on Ray Charles' performance? Apart from the beginning when the mic went out a bit and the sound was a bit... Well, it's Ray Charles. Of course it was great. Yeah, it was, it was awesome. I love Ray, Ray Charles. So. You love the end photo as well. Huh? Well, they were showing like... Oh, yes, yes. Um, so while he was singing America the Beautiful, they had like pictures. They were lay layering them in. The American flag, you know, these monuments, the Washington uh, statue, Mount Rushmore, JFK, and then finally Hulk Hogan with fireworks going off in the background. It's like they're trying to basically make out that Hogan's like this American like legend, <laughs> which he, he kind of is now, but he's still nowhere near the, the likes of, of JFK and so on. But... It was the 80s and, you know, Americana was just so over the top, obviously, but, uh, yeah, so, so the first main event, New York, Roddy Piper, Mr. T, your thoughts on that? Uh, you can give your thoughts first. <laughs> it wasn't really much of anything, really, and... I, well, we were supposed to review wrestling, and it yeah, was boxing. Yeah, I, I just thought I'd watch it just because it's a notable kind of um, attraction. Again, they, they're going for this kind of entertainment uh, crossover. Kind of thing. Roddy Piper did box in his younger years, but um, it was for all intents and purposes just a uh, mm. a little fluff match, really, just to bring in some you know outside viewers, I guess. Um, I listened to Piper on Austin's podcast recently, Stone Cold's podcast. He talked about the match, but I've kind of forgotten what he said. But I think he, I remember he said him saying it was a uh, quite hard to work with Mr. T, and there's that bit where Mr. T punches him and misses him. But Piper was already bumping the, the punch and kind of rolled out the ring and then it just all went a bit weird. But, I don't know, it, it kind of, you know, they started off just trying to punch each other and then they, they started punching each other and then they just did a spot where they were just like punching each other with their arms down. That got the crowd a bit more into it. And then finally... Because it was more wrestling, wasn't it? Yeah, and then he gave Mr. T a, a proper shoot, scoop slam, which was just hilarious because Mr. T's arms just flipped. <laughs> There's no like posting for that whatsoever. He just picked him up and just dropped him down. But uh, and then they just ended it in disqualification. Uh, so yeah, any thoughts you want to add to that? I mean, it wasn't really that enjoyable. Mm. I mean, well, I like boxing, so I didn't hate it. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, um, I said, do you want to fast forward through this? And she went, no, oh, that's okay. Yeah, wanted to see what they got. It's more entertaining. Mm. Okay, so that was that. The The second main event was in um, Chicago and it was a 20 man battle royal. We didn't watch that one, but we did see some of the people coming in as I was forward forwarding through it. And um, I have to get you to reenact your uh, comment when you saw Bruno San Martino. Al Bundy. <laughs> Looks like Al Bundy. <laughs> he did look like Al Bundy. Now that uh, song is stuck in my head again. Is that like what song? Love and Marriage. Love and Marriage, yeah. Go together like a horse and care. The main event of the uh, new, the uh, Los Angeles uh, section, the the last bit, the true main event was um, King Kong Bundy versus Hulk Hogan for the WWF. Bundy. For the WWF <laughs> Heavyweight Championship in a steel cage, one of the old blue bar steel cages. Looked like real. rubber. <laughs> Not that. Can you skip that one out? Why? Nothing. Why? Nothing. What? No, go on. Follow it through. What? 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 Is there more meaning to that joke, or...? No, it wasn't meant to be, but p people might think that there was. Okay. I'm just gonna leave this in, you know? No! It looked like plastic! There you go. <laughs> it's the same as saying it looked like rubber. I don't, you know... It's not a bad joke. It's, you know, on the same level as it looked like rubber. 
at least what you just said it was nowhere near the levels of Alvira, who was doing the guest commentary for the match. Oh. I don't even know who Alvira is. Oh um, my god, they're taking more clothes off as Bundy is taking off the bandage around Hulk Hogan's ribcage because he is hurt. Yeah. And they're like, oh no, he's just taking the belt off. Yeah, I mean, just... Now I know why they're called the Avalanche. It's funny, when she said something really stupid, the other commentators didn't even say anything about it. They just let it pass. The, the other commentators were Jesse Ventura and Lord Alfred Hayes, who's one of my, sure. my favorite commentators from the 80s, probably just British, old school, and I just love his commentary. But then Elvira was there also, so it kind of ruined it. Anyway, the match itself, I enjoyed it. I've seen it once <coughs> before. It's, I quite like it. You know, just the beginning, Hogan's just taking it to Bundy, and he's proper, like, really hitting him hard. They got some back and forth. They didn't let it go on too long. It's about 10 minutes long, the match. Uh, Bundy did a cool blade job, you know, they had a, you know, a bit of back and forth, Hulk, hulked up, hit the leg drop, hit a big scoop slam and then out of the cage he climbed. Oh, the cage is going to fall down. <laughs> no, the cage is not going to fall down. Another stupid Elvira comment. And then right at the end, um, uh, Bobby Heenan, Bobby the Brain, who was uh, managing King Kong Bundy at the time, got uh, pulled into the cage by Hogan and he said, well, Hogan just launched him into the cage and he proper just dove himself into the into the cage and then he hit a massive atomic drop and Heenan just like <laughs> jumped out of the through the ropes and out of the cage uh, which is kind of funny probably the most entertaining part of the match so Wrestlemania 2 is what it is it was fun to see the cage match because we're finally getting to some proper wrestling <laughs> and not just like celebrity kind of uh, attractions and I'm really looking forward to watching uh, two matches from Wrestlemania 3 with you because we're talking about one of the best Wrestlemania matches ever and probably one of the biggest like main events in terms of like bringing in money ever, so. Who are they? Uh, Hulk Hogan versus Andre the Giant, and that was like a huge match. And then um, Ricky Steamboat against Randy Savage, two of the best wrestlers, mm -hmm. just having a classic wrestling match. Have I seen that one before? Nope. Okay. Yeah. So uh, yeah, that's WrestleMania two. Um, you know, uh, it is what it is. Nothing too awesome, but uh, you know, we we've seen a bit more of WrestleMania's history. Hulkamania. And Hulkamania's history. Oh, and there was this ridiculous um, skit before the main event. I can't stop yawning. <laughs> There's this ridiculous skit, before, well, not a skit, but a segment before the main event where um, Hogan's got his, his uh, ribcage taped up and they showed that um, Bundy was hit his big splash on him at, uh, I think, Saturday, Saturday night's main event and hurt his ribs. That was the angle in the match. They wanted Hogan to seem like the biggest, like strongest oh, yeah. superhero guy ever because, you know, oh, he's got his, his, in, his ribs are injured, his back's injured, he might have a herniated disc, he shouldn't be going out there, but I'm going to do it for the Hulkamanias, brother. They want to see me defend <laughs> And he's, he's got... doing chin, chin ups. Doing chin ups no, with, not a, really, with like though. a weight around his neck. Halfway and, up. Yeah, he wasn't really pulling himself all the way up. So uh, Mean Gene was just kind of interviewing him as he was doing these weights. Like, I'm going to do it, brother. Just like, so ridiculous, um, but hilarious at the same time. So, yeah. There you go, WrestleMania 2. Thanks for watching.